The acting Secretary of Homeland Security and the new acting head of Border Protection have been asked to testify before Congress Friday on conditions at migrant detention centers. Manuel Bajorquez has more. President Trump fired back against reporting by the New York and El Paso Times that outlined filthy and overcrowded conditions at a Border Patrol facility for children in Clint, Texas, including outbreaks of scabies, shingles and chickenpox among the hundreds of children who were being held in cramped cells. The allegations come only days after an inspector general report detailed dangerous overcrowding at some Texas Customs and Border Protection facilities. Attorney Laura Mukherjee visited the Clint facility last month and is scheduled to testify about the conditions before Congress this week. The administration is trying to cover up gross human rights abuses. The administration is trying to cover up degrading and inhumane treatment for children. But the acting secretary like of Homeland Security has defended the conditions uh, there. Because there's adequate food and water, because the facility is cleaned every day, uh, because I know what our standards are and I know they're being followed because we have tremendous levels of oversight. More than 490,000 migrants were apprehended or turned away at the southwest border between January and May. The president blames Democrats for not addressing asylum laws, which he believes encourage families to to cross the border. Republican Congressman Will Hurd's district includes the Clint, Texas facility. Uh, these facilities are not built um, to handle the load that they're having to handle. And, and that is, uh, I don't think you can ever um, get to that point uh, without you know, tearing them down and, and starting over again. The administration says ICE could still carry out mass roundups of people with final deportation orders, prompting advocates nationwide, including here in Florida, to remind those immigrants of their rights. Jim? Manny, thank you very much.